Now let's get into a little bit about presentations. Create presentation. There is a new version of Google Presentation. First thing you'll be done is to ask to create a theme, just like in PowerPoint. So you can pick a theme. I'm going to pick Paper Plane and say OK. Now, you remember, you will not be stuck with your theme. You can always change your theme if you don't like it. As soon as it picks my theme for me, that'd be great. Now that I have my theme picked, don't forget to name your presentation. Just like in the other types of docs. I'm going to name it Practice again. Practice Presentation. Aren't I creative? <clears throat> You've got the basic features, file where you can rename, make a copy. If you have other slides, you can import slides from another presentation. So I could click off it and it's going to, I don't even know what this is, but we're going to see, it's going to import a whole bunch of slides. So you can pick different slides that you want to import and click import the slides and it will bring those slides into your presentation if you want to use them. So. But I don't want to use them. <laughs> but I just wanted to show you how you can do that. So I'm just going to delete those slides. But like I said, you have slides. You could bring them in. That's under File. I mean, um, sorry, Import Slides. Under Edit, you have your normal things. Cut, copy, paste, delete, duplicate. So duplicate is basically duplicate slide. So you can click on a slide that you want, and you can duplicate the slide and slide. View, different views. Insert is how you can insert text boxes, images, video, word art, lines, shapes. Here's insert new slide. Once again, you can also import slides from here as well. On the slide menu, you have new slide, duplicate slide, delete slide. You have the background. So you can change the color of your background. And notice it just changed it for this slide. You want to do it to more than one slide, you can hold the shift key down and click a whole bunch of slides and say, okay, let's change the background. And it did it to all the slides. All I did was hold the shift key down while I click them and I could change the background to all the slides. You can change the layout of a slide. So one slide picked, you can go to slide, change the layout. Do you want it title and body? Now it's title and body. Do you want it to be title and two columns? Title two columns. This is all under slide. Just think, what do I want to do with the slide? I go to the slide. Change layout again. Title only. Caption at the bottom. Blank. So you can do whatever you want with it. You also can change the theme if you decide you don't want the theme. I don't like this theme. I'm going to go to modern and change the theme. And notice, when you change a theme, it changes it for every single slide. This slide looks different because I made this slide the slide with blank. But see, caption. So it, when you go to slide and you change the theme, it changes it to all of them. You can also move slide up and down, move to the beginning to reorganize your slides. You can also simply click and drag slides and organize them around down here. So you can click and drag them, or you can just slide and move them around next slide, previous slide, and we'll talk about transitions in a minute. <clears throat> so basically, if you've got slide with text, you can start typing in it. And it does have spell check. All the formatting is the same thing, so I'm not really going to go into it how you format the different things. Okay? You can also under insert a text box. So if it doesn't have text, you can draw a text box and start typing in the text box. You can format font too, just like you want. You can also, under other things, you can insert an image. It's the same way as inserting an image when we did it back in uh, the, pre the word processing. So I'm just going to look for dog again. There's my dog again. Brings my dog in. I can resize my dog. I can click and move my dog wherever I want on the screen. Okay. <clears throat> you can also insert a link. Same thing with links. 
as we showed in, uh, I think it was the word processing. There's my link. I inserted to that image. So it took me there. If I want text to be a link, I could highlight this text that I want to be the link. And then go to insert, link. There's my text. This is review. Another thing you can insert is a video. They take it from YouTube, so you can find a YouTube video. So, um, or if you know the URL, so for example, here's the URL of one of my YouTube videos that we used organizing and sharing docs. I can select it and it actually inserts the video into the slide and it will play. If I do start presentation and I go to my slide with the video, it's going to come up and I can play. The video is unavailable. Huh? Well, that's because it's still working. But <laughs> you can just insert a video. So remember, you want to insert a video, it's insert video, know the YouTube URL, okay? Or you can search YouTube. So obviously, it's just letting us put in YouTube videos, which can become a problem if you have the filter at your school, but uh, if you, most teachers have access to get around the filter. <clears throat> also under the insert menu, word art. Word art. If you've ever done word art before, you can format your word art, but I'm not going to go into word art right now. You can also put in lines, shapes, a table, and we'll talk about animation in a slide later. So I'm not going to go into depth in all these different tools, but if you know how to use the drawing tools or the shape tools or the table tools, you can use all those things. Okay? Format really means when you're formatting text. So if I go to my text here and I go to format, I will have the choices, bold, italic, underline, basically all the things that you can also that you also have when you're in text mode over here, all the different things that you can do. Okay, inserting a table, same way, inserting a table. The one thing that you can do now is you can have animation. So if you're familiar, since I'm not going into huge depth over all the tools because I'm assuming this is not a PowerPoint class, um, it's more about using the basic presentation tools. There are other online tutorials as well. Remember, if you're not sure what one of the tools does, if you just put your cursor over it, you'll see what it does. And all these things are just the same thing as what's on the insert menu. You can insert shapes, line tables from there, or you can insert them from here. So line, I can draw a line. And then you get your formatting tools. You can make it fatter. You can change the color. You can make it dotted. You can put arrows at the end. So depending what you're in is what tools will be up here. So if I make a shape, so you've got all these different shapes you can add, arrows, call cuts, equations. So and they all work the same. So if I want to make an arrow, you just draw the arrow. And you'll have the different tools. So for example, I can change the outline color of my arrow. I can change the fill color of my arrow. That's what this is, fill color, outline color. I can make the line weight fatter on my arrow. I can make it dashed. So depending which you're selected. So now watch, if I select back on this arrow, I just have the arrowheads. And I have the lines. And I have the line colors. So depending what you're in and what you have selected, I select the dog. Notice those fill color and line colors go away because you don't you're not filling and coloring in your dog. When I click on typing it, when I'm in my typing for my text, here's a different tool. So I can change. Oh, I can change the line color. I can change my fill color of the text box. I can change the line color. So like I said, See where you're clicking and see what your options are for formatting. Now the animation piece, if you've never done animations, animation means you can make something animate on a slide. So you can select an object or objects by shift click and do add animation. 
and what do you want it to do? Appear with on click or appear with previous? Okay, appear, disappear, fly in, zoom in, zoom out. How fast do you want it to go? Click play and you can see what it'll do. Okay, so it's not as advanced as when you were using PowerPoint, but it does work. So you can select on something, add an animation, either appear or on click with previous, whatever you want to do, just like when you were doing it. So if you have it with previous, that means they're going to appear with the previous animation or the previous activity. If it appears on click, it'll appear when you click on something. So the things to choose are how you want it to appear, what you want it to do, appear, disappear, fly in, zoom out, and spin. You don't have tons of things. Is it going to appear on click or with previous? What do you want it to do? And then you have to go to play to kind of see it. See there it spins and the guy comes in. So it was on click. I had spin on click and fly in with previous. So they come together. So remember, that's the things to check for. What are you having it do? When are you having it doing it? Now let's look at the transitions. If you go to slide and you say change transition, the transitions are actually up here. Slide, I have it on fade. But if I click here, you can see no transition, fade, slide from the light, slide from the left, flip, cube, gallery. You pick the transition you want. You can pick the speed that you want it to go slow, medium, or fast. I always say for sure medium so you can see it. And then you can apply it to all the slides, or you can pick another slide and pick a different one if you want. I'll do this one slide from the right. And I recommend that you pretty much um, use, do apply to all the slides. You don't want different transitions, but that's up to you. In order to see it, you actually have to go to view and start the presentation. If you click play, it just shows the animations. It won't show the transitions. And you think the transitions aren't working like I thought when I first started playing with it. So pick start presentation, and it'll show you the presentations. And then you can go to the next slide, see how it slides to the left, and it fades. And I can just close up this window, and it'll take me back. So those are the basics. If you have any questions, email me, review the video. That's the good thing about a video. You can pause, go back, check things out. But just remember, the key things are is where you're selecting is what your different choices are. Insert is where you can insert all the different things. Slide is when you can do all the different things to your slide. Those are the really important features.